Hello. So we're going to practice yoga today. We'll work on balance. And as we get older, balance becomes more, more and more challenging. So we have to work on it so that we can maintain our balance and our center of gravity throughout our lifetime. Hi, we are Thais and Halison from Mexico and you're practicing by Master Yoga. So we'll start off today in a child's pose, Balasana. Knees a little bit apart. Drop your chest down to the floor. And you can rest your forehead on your hands here. You can have your arms stretched forward. Or you can even bring your hands down by your sides. Whatever feels right in your body. And as you settle, just close your eyes. Connect inward with your breathing. And take a few slow, deep breaths. In and out as smoothly as possible. And as you deepen your breath, take a moment to set an intention for your practice. Whatever it is you wish to get out of this time. And with that intention in mind, reach your hands forward if they're not already there. Come up into a tabletop position. Slide your hands back a few inches so your wrists are under your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. As you breathe in, lift your hips, lift your chest, look forward, coming into cow pose. Exhale, round your whole spine, look back to your thighs, coming into cat pose. Inhale, chest forward, lift your chin. Exhale, round, draw your abdomen toward your spine. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, create an arch in your back. And exhale, round. Now inhale, come to a neutral spine. And you might want to walk your left knee in a little bit closer to your right. Ground through your left shin bone, lift through your abdomen, and kick your right leg straight back behind you. Press into the heel of the foot and have your toes pointing down toward the floor. Now, if you're able to, reach your left hand forward. Thumb faces up, little finger side of the hand faces down. Take another three deep breaths here, just holding, working balance stabilizing the body and keeping the breath nice and smooth. One more in. As you exhale, set the left hand down, cross the right leg over. So crossing it to the outside of the left leg. Turn to look over your left shoulder and see if you can spot that foot behind you. Stretching into the right side body and the left hip. Now uncross that right leg, bring the knee back down to the floor, and maybe walk that right knee in a little closer to the left. We'll explore that on the left side. Extend back through your left leg, push into your heel, have your toes facing the floor. If you feel stable, reach your right hand forward, just like you're reaching to shake hands with somebody. Draw the abdomen up. Extend through both sides of your waist and maintain your breath. Two more here, again creating stability and balance. Then set that right hand down to the ground, cross your left leg behind your right, turn to look over your right shoulder, try to spot that foot behind you. I love this stretch, it feels so good in my body. I hope it feels good in yours as well. Now we'll uncross, left knee down. Walk your hands forward about four or five inches, fingers spread wide apart. Curl your toes into the ground and lift your knees just a few inches. So you're hovering, sometimes we call this bear pose. I've heard a teacher call it beast, which sounds very scary. It is kind of a scary pose, it's kind of hard. 
So take another two or three deep breaths, belly in, hug your outer hips in, and on your next breath out, straighten your legs as much as possible, push your heels down toward the floor. Inhale, bend your knees, come back into that bear or beast pose, and exhale, push back, heels down. One more time. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straight legs, reach to your heels. Take a deep breath in, full breath out, look forward, start to walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale at the top, lift halfway. Ardha Uttanasana, pause here a moment. Just like in that extended table, lift through the wall of your abdomen, press your hips back, reach your chest forward. Next, exhale, release, fold over your legs, let your head be heavy. Inhale, come up to stand, circle arms over your head. And exhale, lower hands down. Now we'll bring the hands by the sides. See that your feet are about hips width distance apart. Outer edges of feet parallel. Exhale all of your breath out. As you inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Lift your heels off of the ground. So you're balancing on the balls of the feet. Exhale, slowly lower hands and heels down. Inhale again, come up, nice and slow. Exhale to lower. Continue this movement a few more times. So you're just inviting your body into a little bit of balance. Notice how that feels for you today. If it's hard to balance, it's usually an indication that the mind is a little bit scattered. So if that's the case for you today, just keep inviting your mind to turn inward. No judgment, just aware of the experience. Now next inhalation, reach your arms over your head, keep the heels down, Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. As you exhale, bring your hands to the floor, walk your feet in together, touching, and bend your knees as low as you're able to go. So we come into this crouching position. Heels might lift, that's pretty normal. Hands can stay on the ground if you need some support. Or if you feel stable, wrap your arms around your legs and curl into a little ball, bringing your chin toward your chest. Two more deep breaths. Now as slowly as you can, and using your hands for assistance as needed, we'll reach forward, open the knees wide apart, and gently sit back onto the hips. Lift your feet and your legs, Navasana. Hold here five breaths. So Navasana is also balance. If you feel really unstable or your low back is bothering you, you can always bring your hands behind your hips. Two more breaths. Eyes steady on one spot. And cross one ankle in front of the other. You can use your hands to kind of pull your legs toward you. Roll over your knees and step back into down dog. Hold this down dog. Take a full breath in, full exhalation out. From down dog, inhale, raise your right leg up and back. Exhale, place your foot inside of your right thumb. And if you need to use your hand to guide your foot, please do so. Keep your left knee lifted if possible. Come up into a high crescent lunge. Reach your arms next to your ears and bend that right knee so it tracks just above the ankle. Make sure the knee is not moving forward of the ankle or dropping in toward the big toe. Deep breath here. 
Then we'll add a bit of balance. Lean forward, sweep your hands back by your side. So you can stay here today, this is great. If you're able to step onto your right foot, lift your left, coming into warrior three. Pull your shoulder blades down away from your ears and powerfully kick back into your left heel. Take another deep breath and step your left foot next to your right. Inhale, reach arms overhead. Exhale, lower hands down to heart center. We'll stay working into that right leg. Ground your right foot. Bend your left knee, turn the knee out to the side. And place your left foot below or above your right knee. And just make sure you're not putting any pressure on the side of the knee. Then if you're stable, arms overhead. Now if you're really stable today, we have a little extra challenge to our tree pose. You can bring your left hand to the top of that left knee, reach your right hand up, and lean over to your left side. It might make it a little bit more wobbly than normal. That's okay. That just means you're challenging yourself. And without challenge, we can't change. One more breath. If you're leaning in your tree, come back upright. Lower hands to heart and set that left foot back down to the ground. Inhale, reach arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. As you breathe out, step one foot back and then the other, downward facing dog. And hold this down dog a breath. Lift your hips up and back. Lengthen out through all four sides of your torso. And we'll transition to lunge. Inhale, raise your left leg. Exhale, step inside of left thumb. Keep that right knee lifted. Come up into your high crescent lunge, a little bend of the right knee. Make sure your left knee is tracking over your ankle. Draw your upper arms back. Deep breath here. And a lunge in and of itself is already balance. Now to go deeper, lean forward, sweep your hands back by your sides. You're welcome to stay here. Or step onto your left foot, lift from your right inner thigh. And try to keep that back leg straight as much as possible. And powerfully push into your heel. Take another breath, chest lift in. And step your right foot next to your left. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And exhale, lower hands to heart. So now we ground into the left foot, bend the right knee, turn the knee out, place your foot below or above your left knee. Draw your pubic bone toward your navel, lift through your chest, and if you're stable, reach your arms up and overhead. Now if you tried it on the first side, we'll try it again here, right hand to that right knee, reach your left arm up and lean over to your right side. And just notice what that does. For me, it makes it a lot more challenging. Very, very wobbly here. We'll take another breath. And slowly, if you're leaning, come back up to center, reach up, lower your hands, and set that right foot down to the ground. Great work. Inhale, reach up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, half lift, chest forward. Exhale, walk your feet back, downward facing dog. Now from down dog, let's come to the knees just for a moment. We have a couple options. We have another balance pose. Option one is to bring the knee down. Option two is to keep it lifted. Maybe you try it both ways today. Maybe you work with one or the other. So from our down dog, option one, 
we set the right knee down to the ground. We're coming into a modified side plank. Option two, you keep that right knee lifted, shift onto the outside of the right foot. Now your left foot can stay in front like mine is here, or if you feel stable, you can stack the left foot on top of the right. Reach your left hand to the sky, lift higher through the hips. Whichever variation you're in, take a breath in and reach your left arm alongside your ear. Try to hold here two, maybe even three more breaths. Legs are active, belly firm. We're pushing into that bottom hand. I'm shaking with happiness right now. Let's lower that left hand back down, come to plank, and push your hips back, downward facing dog. Child's pose is always there if you want a little extra rest. I know as we start to work into the upper body and the core, it can be pretty challenging. So do what you need to do to take care of yourself. Now from down dog, we'll move to the second side. So option one, the left knee is gonna come down. You're here, modified side plank. Option two, we shift to the outer edge of that left foot. Right foot is in front. Option three, we stack the right foot on top. Right hand to sky, lift your hips, firm your belly. Then wherever you are, reach that right arm all the way forward. So you're getting this long line through the right side of your body. Two or three more breaths. And try to stay as stable as possible. And slowly release the right hand down. Shift back into down dog. And let's all lower to the knees. Big toes touch, bring your knees together and sit back to child's pose. So knees together creates a little bit more stretch into the low back. Hold here as long as you want. We'll come up hands and knees when ready and bring the legs out in front of you. You can stay facing forward for this, or you can turn to face the side of your mat. We'll open the legs wide apart. We did a lot of work today, so we'll take some time to cool down. Legs wide, press into your heels, see that your toes are facing up toward the sky. Hands somewhere in front of you, take a breath in, lift your chest. And as you exhale, if you have space, start to walk your hands forward and fold. Now keep in mind, we're not excessively rounding the spine here. We're trying to hinge from the hips rather than round the low back. And we're trying to keep the spine fairly long. And think about rolling your inner thighs back and reaching your chest forward. And take another three or four deep breaths. Maybe finding a little more depth as you exhale. Now your next in breath, slowly lift yourself back up. You can use your hands to guide the knees to bend, bring them toward each other, and lower down onto your back body. And as you release to your back, hug your knees to your chest, Apanasana. And thank yourself for spending this time on your mat today. You are worth it. And straighten out your legs when ready. And come to rest in a comfortable position, eyes closed. Allow yourself to surrender into the earth, 
in Shavasana. This is a quote by Dorian Israel from a book called Unbound. Choose well which thoughts you wish to feed into the atmosphere today. For each thought contains within it the seed of what you will harvest as your experience tomorrow. It is your spirit that should select the vision to be viewed, not the mind. The mind is the projector and the universe is the screen. Life is a living canvas. And take a deeper breath. Begin to gently move. Bring your knees to your chest. Roll to one side and come up. And close your eyes. Bring hands together. And bow your head. We'll take hands to the forehead for clear and loving thoughts. Hands to the heart to have clear and loving intentions. Hands to the mouth for clear and loving communications, sending this positive energy outward to all beings everywhere. Namaste. And practicing daily is a wonderful thing to do. If you're able to practice daily, you'll start to notice that your balance greatly improves. You'll find more core strength and stability, and with that, better balance. I've created a 90-day program, and I'd love to have you join. If you'd like to practice the first three days for free, please follow the link in the description of this video or see the pinned comment. If you'd like to stay on YouTube, I would suggest this video.